What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the NHL GM Mode Commentary Series. Right here in the Armchair GM Sports Network, your source for North American sports coverage by sports fans for sports fans. And we are here with the NHL GM Mode Commentary Series with the Seattle Kraken here at the end of year number six. I think we're in year six. Whatever, whatever you were at, another disappointing playoff loss. Another first round exit. God, we're starting to look a lot like the Maple Leafs, aren't we? Uh, and I, I just seen the title of the last video. Oh, but last, my guys, make sure the last video and all the other videos, go check them out live on the channel right now for the Seattle Kraken. Go check them out. Hit the like button. Leave your comments down below and hit the subscribe button. But uh, most importantly, the last video is titled Stanley Cup Cursed because I think we are cursed. Ladies and gentlemen, I will put up the graphic now. Uh, if you can see it on screen right now, the, the, the last couple of seasons that we've had and our playoff success next to it. Not looking so ginger. Not liking it. Not sure what else to do here. So, uh, I'm looking at our team now. I have it written down on paper. And uh, I think I know what I want to do. I think I'm going to go in with mostly the same team next year. Because we had a, a, a really good season. But, uh, you know what? Actually, let's, let's look at that first. So, before we look at the team, I want to show you guys. Uh, so, one of the reasons why uh, I want to kind of go in with almost the same team. I mean, look at it. The season we had... 50, 28, and 4. That's nothing to complain about, and it's something that we can actually uh, hold, our hell, hold our heads high on the future of this team about. I mean, we had 104 points. We tied with Vegas for the division, For the division, basically. We had a, we had more uh, wins in them, but they beat us with the regulation wins. And that was the only reason why. So I think we're going in the right direction. So I don't think we need to make another big, drastic, retool, big change. With this team, uh, we're going to keep the same coaches. We don't need to do that much. I will make a couple of changes, but not so much. So, what I'm thinking, guys, Pinelli for sure, line one. This kid, I think, is just, he's proven he's our, our number one center. Uh, if we look at, I mean, he had a really poor playoff, but uh, if you look at what he did in the regular season, 42 points in that line one. I mean, it's less than his first year, but he's still producing and helping out that first line. Um, so I think we can keep him there on line one. Uh, Logan Brown, I want to keep there as well on the right side. I think uh, I don't think I think I'm going to uh, change him to a right wing as well. Um, I think he's definitely deserved his uh, first line spot. And then Yarn Krog, I'm still iffy about. I don't know if I want to keep this guy for another year. He's still making 8.5. I feel like in the free agency we're gonna find we're probably gonna find a better sniper on the left side that we can probably go after for the same amount of money. So my Thing is with uh, Yarn Croc is if we do get rid of him, we wait until free agency and see what's available. And then if there's no one available, we keep Yarn Croc for another year. Um, if you guys see what he's done for us, he had a pretty good playoff. Like he was one of the standouts. Um, he has been digressing in points. That's one thing too, especially in goals. For a sniper, you know, you don't want your goals to be going down year by year. So maybe we do move on from uh, Cali Yarn Croc. So. Uh, we'll see what's available in uh, uh, the free agency market. As for our second line, obviously Landis Gog and Sorelli, they're still under contract. They're still going to stay there. Uh, Sorelli will have him for another year, and Landis Gog will have him for another two years. Uh, so they'll stay there, especially Landis Gog, our captain. Tarasenko, um, I'm debating on whether signing him again for one more year. Um, he had a fantastic year. He led our team in points, and I think if we can get him cheap enough for one year, uh, maybe like a another $10 million contract, I, I'd be okay with signing him for one more year. Um, but we, we, we will shall see again. It'll be something to, to see what he's asking for. He's going to be 34, so I'm not planning to sign him for anything more than one year uh, on his contract. As for the bottom six, I'm keeping Mercer on the, uh, the left side here. I'm going to move him to a left wing just because I love a left winger with a right shot. I think it's a better uh, shot. Uh, selection and look at his shooting. I think maybe if we uh, decide to test him out on the left side, maybe it'll improve. Um, if we see what he did, he had 15 goals in this season with 39 points, so not bad for a third liner. But I think we can try to elevate that uh, that goal total. Or the other thing we could do is if we get where Yarn Croc, we can trade him for future assets and then move Mercer into the top six, and he can be the uh, see how him. Pinelli and Brown do and then if we need to uh, we can look for another sniper during the season so we'll have to see it's all gonna uh, matter of what free agents will be available 
Jones, I'm thinking about trading. I think uh, our, our our time with Jones is done. He still has five more years of 5.5, but he, he's not producing enough, I think, for a $5 million player. Uh, he had 52 points in this season. That's because he rode the first line, but he won't be riding the first line anymore. So I don't expect the same production. Um, I just, you know, his playoff production is a big thing for me. Is is the playoff production I need, we need to fix uh, on this team. So Jones just doesn't really show up that much in the playoffs lately, I, I guess. He has in the past, but... I think it's time to move on from Jones and to help with our cap situation. Force back at Carlson. I'm not sure if I'm going to re-sign yet. Again, I'll see what he wants. Um, maybe we can get him for cheap. Maybe for another, maybe like 3.5 or 3.8 for one or two years. I'd be okay with paying him that. And then I'm try. I'm going to try to re-sign this entire fourth line here. I believe everyone's up in need of a contract. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I believe we can get Johansson cheap enough, especially because it'll be 35. Sashnikov, we should be able to get for another, uh, what was he making? 2.2, probably another $2 million contract. And then Kyle Olsen shouldn't ask for that much, especially at 80 overall. And uh, I think I'm going to keep that just because they get the plus three chemistry on line uh, four. So I'm going to keep them together. As for defense, uh, Slavin won't be there. We're not going to re-sign him. That'll be the spot of Colby Hickey, who is injured right now. We can't put into the lineup. So Hickey and Svedberg will rock line one. How I will keep, um, yeah, was it Hickey and Svedberg I had? Yeah, Hickey and Svedberg. Okay, so <laughs> how I'm going to keep there? Obviously, we're going to we're going to stay with uh, with him. Uh, we'll, he will need a contract, so maybe that'll help with uh, trading Jones away in terms of uh, cap. Sanderson, I'm not sure. I saw one of you guys say that maybe we should trade him because just because. Uh, his production has been the greatest, but what I did do is I changed him from a defensive defenseman to a two-way defender because his stats to me show that he's more of a two-way guy than a, a, a more of a defensive guy, especially with his his offensive stats and a mix of good defensive stats. So I switched him to a two-way, and I think that actually improved his scheme fit. So I, I think I'm going to hold on to Sanderson for one more year, see how he does during the regular season. He may be a guy we move on from from the deadline and, and find someone else for that D pairing. And we're going to trade Adam Fox. I think the Adam Fox experiment is done with, and he doesn't really fit anywhere on our team. So we'll move on from him and, and trade him, and then we'll keep Alexandrov. So we'll find a uh, cheap enough offensive defenseman, I guess, or two-way to play with Alexandrov for that uh, – that third D pairing. Other than that, uh, goalies, uh, we're going to let uh, Comrie walk, and we're going to go with the Wellwood Wit duo since Wit has proven that he is a solid backup tendy when he uh, went in halfway through the year and, and put up some stellar numbers. As you guys can see here, he put up a 12 and 3 record with a 920 save percentage and a 216 goals against average, playing 17 games in the regular season. So I think that's uh, good enough for a backup goalie role. So he'll play the backup goaltender role with uh, Colby Wellwood getting a full year starter under his belt. I'm sure he's going to grow in the offseason as well. And we'll move on from Comrie, which is is about $3.5 million in cap relief as well. As for the HL, we have one guy coming up. It'll be this guy, this Maurizio uh, Dykus. I'm not really sure how to say his name, but he's grown. He was a, a low elite fourth round pick, and he's up to a fourth line forward. He's sure to grow a little bit more. He might even grow up into the third line. We shall see. He'll be a good either a depth player for us or maybe even a trading asset. So we'll take a look at his growth throughout the offseason. And I don't expect anyone else down here to grow and no, no one really on defense either. So I think we are set with that going into our offseason here. So let me just take a look. Um, okay, so our, off, our AHL team is still in the playoffs. So let's just sim through and see how they do. They are one and one against the Devils. Here we go. They are a one and two. Okay, game number four. One and three. Yikes! They might uh, lose in uh, five games here, and they do. So uh, the Tacoma Sock guys are not having any uh, playoff success as much as we are. At least they made it to the second round. Oh God, that's sad. But uh, we can finally uh, sim to the draft here and see who wins the Stanley Cup. So here we go. Central Scouting, yada, yada, yada. Stanley Cup champions are... I'm going to guess Chicago. Anaheim Ducks, okay. So that Anaheim Ducks team that defeated us in the first round goes on to win. Oh, boy, the Stanley Cup. So Matthews and Larkin on that first line in that Lindstrom Kraken killer winning a cup. My God, let's see how they did after, uh, after defeating us in... Uh, in quick fashion there. So they beat us in seven games. They swept the Dallas Stars. 
beat Chicago in six games and beat Pittsburgh in the finals in six games. So Anaheim Ducks, I guess congratulations to them, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Still a little bitter about that, but uh, we're on our way to fixing that. So uh, let's just see here uh, the trophies. So Art Ross with the Patrick Kane. Uh, same with Hart Memorial. Alex Petrangelo on uh, the uh, Ottawa Senators winning the, the James Norris two years in a row. Patrick Kane winning the Lady Bing. He's just uh, picking up everything. Uh, Calder goes to that guy. Con Smythe, Austin Matthews. Bennington uh, getting Vesna and William Jennings. Uh, Bill Masterson to Maldine. Jack Adams to the Dallas Stars coach in Goulet. Selkie goes to Toscala of the Detroit Red Wings. <laughs> Detroit Red, <laughs> Detroit Red Ring, Wings. I can't even say the word right. Uh, Ted Lindsay with Patrick Kane. Wow. So Patrick Kane won the Maurice Richard, Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, Hart Memorial, and Lady Bing. Man, Patrick Kane, what a year for him. Who? What is he now, man? What What overall is this guy? I, uh, we got to go. We got to go see this, guys. Hang on. Still in Chicago. Still putting up 100 points. 62 goals. Wow. What an incredible. 36 years old. Still 90 overall. Still rocking the exact elite potential. Man, this guy is a stud. Hey, man, look at He fits in our top six. Maybe you should go trade for Patrick Kane. Maybe he's the, the, the guy that solves all our problems. We get him for 10.2 for one year. I think, man, but I think at 37, he's gonna he's gonna start uh, diminishing. So uh, maybe not. But that's crazy. 62 goals. I mean, he shouldn't go down that far. But man, that's a big jump from 30. He must have been playing with some uh, some crazy teammates. Yeah, he must have been playing with Strom and Debrinket. That must have been line one right there. Or even if he jumped with Arvidsson or Nylander. So there's a reason why he got 62 goals. Um, it definitely looks like it was Strom a big factor, especially with 77 assists. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'd love to trade for Patrick Kane, but at his age, that's uh, it's a big gamble, uh, especially for 10.1. Um, so, we looked at the awards. I don't think we do anything else. Let's just sim it to the draft. And we got the uh, draft lottery. Eh, I don't think we went anywhere in the draft lottery. I think Did we give up our first round pick? Or is it below? I think it's like a little bit below 15. Yeah, I don't see us anywhere there. So Calgary ends up winning the draft lottery there. Let's just see where we're projected to pick. All right. And, ooh, look at this guy. Eno Helmaninen, a franchise player. The next Mario Lemieux going to the Calgary Flames. Whoa, baby. Good for them. All right. Where are we projected to pick? What do we got around our pick? And do we have – we got a first-round pick? Oh, it's late. All right. So we got this Felix Schultz guy. La, Ly, Lionel, <laughs> Lionel McCabe, if I'm saying that right. And Kent Flaherty. Eh, nothing uh, jumping off the page here. Nothing uh, too too spicy. Yeah, nothing here. I got to be able to reach for this guy, Sanford. NHL ready. Right-handed shot. Holden Sanford. Star this guy. We got Yuri Tulipov. Five years, though. And then there's our next pick. And, oh, we got another medium media goalie. Ooh, you know, let's keep an eye on him. Can always uh, can always use some more goalie prospects for future trades if we have to. And this guy doesn't look bad. Tristan Martins. We got Thompson. Yeah. I think I might have uh, – I don't think I set my scouts properly. I think I might have not saved the game when I did that because it doesn't look like we scouted a lot this year. But uh, that creates the uh, the fun in it. So we got Mikhail Shishkanov. What a name that is. All right. So, all right. So let's just keep going here. Uh, I don't think anyone would have retired on our team, but let's just double check. Sidney Crosby retired. Look at that. And Malkin, who's on the Washington Capitals. Uh, Claude Giroux retiring. A lot of big names retiring here. Latang, Oshi, JVR. Wow. Yeah, a lot of names retiring here. A lot of a lot of known names. Uh, let's go over to Seattle just to make sure anybody retired. No, we have no one there. Goalies. No, we're good. All right. So, let's going to keep simming here. So we get to draft interviews. Uh, JVR is now a coach. Claude Giroux is now a coach. Do we have anyone? Tacoma or Seattle? No Seattle. No Tacoma. Okay, we're good. 
All right. So let's just do a couple interviews here. And it'll be with the pin players we got. All right. So was it uh, Sanford said he, he was supposed to be NHL ready? So let's uh, let's find out if Mr. Sanford is NHL ready. The next Rob Blake, apparently. <laughs> All right. Readiness. What are you actually? One year away. That's still not bad. Playing style. Are you a defense defenseman? You are. That's good. I like to see that. And uh, let's go with uh, your skills. And what are you what are you good at? What are your strengths? And my defensive skill has been okay. So you've got good defensive stats, like defense, defensive with good defensive stats. This guy might be a guy. He might just reach for this guy. I think it's a smart choice. Or maybe we move down. I mean, he's uh, he's ranked number thirty six, so we can move down into the second round and probably get someone back for him. Maybe so we'll keep him. Um, we'll keep him uh, starred there. So the next guy we can look at. Uh, let's try. I think one of these forwards here. Let's try this guy, Tristan Martins. Let's see what he's about. Let's interview him. Okay. Do we just not interview the guy? What the heck is going on? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> Is the interview just frozen? Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on, guys, but I'll be right back. I'll see what, I've, what I can do here. I'm not sure what the heck just happened, but uh, give me a sec. All right, guys. Welcome back. Well, guess what? It, it went right back to where I first started in the video. <laughs> I didn't have any other saved files, so we're starting back right from uh, where we started in the beginning of the video. God, just got to love EA, so we're not even going to do draft interviews when it comes back up. Uh, it kind of looks like my AHL team's still in it here. Let's just keep going. Uh, yes, it's, uh, best roster, that's sure. <laughs> Imagine watching my AHL team finally won it now. Tacoma, that'd be great. Um, best lines. All right, let's stop the simulation here. Let's just see where they are. Are they in the Color Cup Finals now? Oh my god, are they in the Color Cup Finals? They're in the Color Cup Finals! Look at them! One more win, and they win the Color Cup! <laughs> Look at the change! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Let's see if they do it. Can they pull it off? Oh, God. They're going to Game 7 of the Calder Cup Finals. <laughs> you know what? Let's just jump in for the heck of it. Let's just jump right into this. This is going to be funny. <laughs> Ryan France is uh, leading the team. Let's go. First period. All right. No score. Second period. Oh, God. 1-1. One, one. Here we go. The, the the dreaded third. Third period. Oh, they're going overtime. Oh, boy. Let's see this. Play it. Who's winning the color cups? Oh, and it's the Tacoma Sockeyes in Dyke Hewis. The man that's getting called up next year is the overtime hero. And the Tacoma Sockeyes are the Calder Cup champions. So they win a trophy before our NHL team can. That's kind of sad. Do the Ducks still win the cup? Oh, they're facing New Jersey. They're still in the finals. Do they repeat history? Oh, no. New Jersey comes back, game seven, and Anaheim still wins the cup. I bet you, uh, I mean, Patrick Kane still would have had to clean up the awards. I don't think that that, that would change. No, he's still, uh, yeah, every award is still the same. Oh, except the, the Conn Smythe is uh, Lindstrom this time, not Matthews. So that's the one thing that changed. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> every award's the same. Yada, yada, yada. Let's just get to the draft and uh, screw the draft interviews. I was just, I don't know what happened there. That must be a bug late into franchise mode. Uh, I've never had that happen. It looks like the draft lottery ended up the same as well. We didn't move up. We're good. We're not even in the draft lottery uh, area. No, I do not want to be draft class. I've already seen it. Just get me to the draft. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we do not want to do draft interviews. Not anymore. All right, boys. We're here at the draft. So, first thing they have to do is uh, we are looking at trade. So, uh, looking to trade for future assets. So, Fox and Jones. So, that's going be the first thing to do when we get into the draft here. So, Fox or Jones. So, it'll look like we can trade into the top here. Maybe with Colorado. They're on the west. I'd like to move with an east team. Where are we located? We're here at 22. Could probably get uh, one of the Flyers' first round picks here. Let's try for 18 first. See if they'll take a Fox or Jones. 
Uh, so I want to get rid of it. So let's go to Fox's first. And there's Adam Fox. Let's see, right on paper. That could go through 1v1. So let's see. Fox for their 18th overall pick. Trade accepted. All right, Adam Fox, thanks for your services. And uh, the next one would be Max Jones, which is right there. Uh, he's up to an 85. Okay, so he's making a case for me not to move him. Um, oh, boy. And if we look over here, Dawson Mercer's climbing up. Ooh, and Forrest Backa dropped big time. But that's because he has a one-year contract left. Uh, boy, I think uh, we still have to stick with it. Because did Brown move up at all? Brown's up to an 86. Okay, yeah, so we got to stay with Brown. He looks like he's the better player. So uh, Max Jones looks like we can get a lot more for. So let's kind of just back out of that. Um, let's sim to... Uh, uh, let's just say, let's see that first overall guy. So, oh, oh my God, 84 out of the draft, medium franchise, man. That Calgary Flame just picked up a stud. What a draft pick for them. What was the second overall pick like? 80 overall. Okay, so let's uh, sim to our pick. All right. And, uh, ooh, a medium elite was taken right before us. Ooh. So let's just call a timeout here, get some time on the clock, and find trade for Max Jones. See what we can get for Mr. Jones. All right. Max Jones. Oh, did it work? What did I do? Oh, it's uh, the train block. Uh, bu 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 bu. Let's get Jones on there. There we go. Surplus. Okay. What do we want for Jones? So I'd say if we're, uh, we're looking at maybe replacing Yarncroc, we put a first line forward. Uh, uh, look for for Jones. So the forward, uh, first line, at least 18. Uh, nothing too old. I'd say maybe max 32 and at least uh, three and a half stars. So let's uh, put that in there. All right. Current picks. We'll look for anyone giving us a first or a second. And same with the future as well. And there we go. Let's see what we can find for Mr. Jones. So now I think, so I don't screw it up, I think you have to select him first and then find trade. So Jones select, find trade. Let's see what we got. So we had two. So the Sabres are off, or the Flyers, again, are offering uh, the 2025, the 20th overall. So their other first round pick and a second round pick for this year. And then the Capitals are offering next year's first and next year's second. So I think I'm going to go with the two picks this year. I think. Or do I go with next year's pick? Uh, it'd be nice to get two first-round picks next year because we already have a couple this year. So you know what? I'm going to accept the Washington Capitals one instead. So Max Jones, you're going to Washington. We're getting a first and a second for next year. Thanks for your services. There we go. So Max Jones off the team. And now we can take a look and see at our draft pick situation for uh, this year. We have uh, the 18th, the 22nd, and then next year we'll have ours in the Washington Capitals uh, first round pick in two seconds as well. So we uh, have a, a, a plethora of draft picks leading into next year. But that's crazy, this guy from Pittsburgh. Um, getting a medium elite. So maybe we can pick up a medium elite, hopefully, with this pick. And what do we got? So we got a Yuri Brzgalov, a three-year guy. We can pick up this right winger, Liam Windhandle. Windhandle. Okay, we got Christian Bergfors, uh, Strombolopoulos, Gonna not be bad. Trent Strombolopoulos is a big ass name. Uh, Alec Harold. All right, we got uh, Elijah Klimchuk. Ooh, Klimchuk has some pretty. I like his uh, grade stats. Six five two. It's a big center. He could be a power forward center. Ooh, he's a grinder. I think that's more of a power forward. It's definitely not a grinder. Um, maybe we can reach for a Boyle or a Schultz. Maybe a Schultz or a McCabe. You know what? I like Harold. I really do like Harold. Or do we get a guy like Yuri Braskalov? He's a 6'5 defenseman. Could be a defense. It looks like he is a defensive defenseman, but we're already going to pick one up later on. Or do we pick a power forward winger? 6'4, 220. This guy's a big guy. How does uh, Harold fit on the scheme? We don't know really much about balance and pinch. Alec Harold. Oh, no, it was uh, Klimchuk. Klimchuk, sorry. Three years. You know, I really like this Klimchuk guy. We're going to try him. Elijah Klimchuk, welcome to the Seattle Kraken. Medium top six, center power forward. Beauty. 
All right, I like to see that. That's uh, someone that we could like, definitely grow and help us in the future, maybe. So Elijah Klimchuk uh, is drafted by Seattle. Let's go with the next pick here. So we got Briscala was a medium top four. Uh, Wendell was a medium top six. Dallas is a or Stromalopoulos was a medium top six. It's a big name. Look, I can. <laughs> they had to shrink it down on the the draft card. So the next guy we're picking is a guy we're going to reach for. Where is he? The defenseman. Ooh, this guy Sanford. Was that him? Wait, was it Sanford? Oh yeah, we didn't. Uh, we don't have the. Uh... Oh, I think it was Sanford. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Doesn't look like anyone else. I think he was like a medium elite. It wasn't Tulipov, I don't think. No, I think it was. I think it was a Sanford guy. I mean, you know, it says one year, so I think it was him. So we'll pick him. Sanford, welcome to the Seattle Kraken. Let's see what ends up being medium tough for seventy five overall. Woo! Right out of the gate. All right, this guy's going to be uh, AHL ready to go. I love it. All right, so Holden Sanford, welcome to the Seattle Kraken. And we don't have another pick, so let's just sim to our next pick here. Pick number forty. And just see what we got. All right. Tulipov is available to us. Um, was that the goalie? Yeah, this goalie was one guy we looked at. Yeah, I think uh, we can take a chance on this goalie. Quincy Mullen. Let's take a chance on you. Welcome to Seattle. Medium elite goalie. 51 overall. But, guys, medium elite is the most important factor there. That could be even a trading asset. So, good pick there with uh, Mullen. Next pick here. All right. And uh, it was in the fourth round. So it looks like there's some medium top nines. Uh, nothing too special. Look at Colton. Or sorry, Clayton Wakabayashi. What a name there. A uh, bunch of guys we haven't scouted. We have Dustin uh, Trojanovich. All right. How about we sort by potential? Ooh, a gem. And a okay, I think we're taking this guy. Yep. We're not passing up on this. 19 years old, right wing or right handed. Guy could be in our AHL right away. Uh, I mean, there's goalies here we could take. We just took one. Uh, yeah, I'm not tossing up, especially a gem too. So Christopher Kreider. Christopher Kreider. Welcome to Seattle. What are you? A low elite. All right. I love that. We've seen low elites grow. We had a, uh, a Dykewis uh, grow with, what, a year or two? And he's already on the, on the roster. So uh, this is a, a promising thing, guys. Christopher Kreider, uh, a gem in the draft, taking him in the fourth round. So let's sim to the next pick here and see what we got. Uh, potential meme elite in this goalie, Rantanen. Tumo Rantanen. We can go with Brandon Betts. Uh, okay, let's just sort by potential. What do we got here? Um, okay. Got potential left wing. How about we uh, sort by this and see what... Uh, ooh, got a one-year guy possibly. What was that? Where is he? 18 years old goalie. Ooh. You know what? Let's take a chance on him. Could be another trading asset. Brian Robinson, medium backup, 74 overall. There we go. Either that or we have an AHL goalie for next year. There we go. And I just saw low elite, so there's still potentials out there. Uh, okay. We got Harold Brewer. Uh, Sergei Kondratiev. Kondratiev. That could be not a bad pick, so let's just sort by overalls here. Or uh, potentials. Sort by this. What do we got? Five. Oh, they got a three-year guy. Two-way forward. Low elite. You know what? Taking a chance on him. Zane Hedekin. Right winger. Russian. Welcome to Seattle. Low top six. All right. We are scoring with these draft picks, guys. Here we go. Let's go. Next draft pick. It was a deep draft. Very deep draft. Uh, Barry Tur <laughs> The next Turco. Barry Turco. But he's a D. Uh, let's just see. Hayden Applicator. What do we got? Five, 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 five years, five years. Anyone sort of stick out here? Four. We got a four year guy. Grinder, potentially. Medium top six. You know what? Let's take a chance on him. Gallagher, Caden Gallagher. Medium bottom six. Enforcer, though. That's not bad. Now is our last pick. So, uh, even though that's an enforcer, medium bottom six, that actually could be a good enforcer for our AHL. I'd, I'd love to sign him. So, other than that. Uh, let's just sim to the resign, and let's see. Okay, so we have some coaches to resign our uh, goalie coach and our AHL guy. So uh, let's just quickly do the coaches. Um, let me just take a look at our goalie coach. What's he all about? And you know what? I'm gonna keep him. We had a good year with our goalie, so let's keep him for three more years at uh, 700. Uh, let's put him at 750. 
There we go. And then our AHL guy, he made it. <laughs> Calder Cup champions. Got to give him a contract. Give him a $1 million contract for... Uh, wait, what the hell? Was that our head coach? Yeah, HL head coach. Not H give him a three-year contract for $1 million per. There we go. Just for that Calder Cup bonus. Caleb Dowd. And I believe it's Machofsky or... Oh, okay. AHL goalie coach. All right. Uh, okay. Three years at 190000 There you go. All right. That's done. Get into our contracts. Here we go. All right. So let's start, as always, by position. We'll start with our centers. So we got Logan Brown, who's going to be a right winger, but Sorelli and Pinelli. Uh, Sorelli up to an 85, and they're both going to their last year of their contracts. So, uh, Next year, guys, it might be time to restructure the the center core. Might have to see what we uh, we'll have to have a big discussion next year. Uh, Kyle Olson, we're gonna keep him because we want him for that fourth line. Uh, do we want? Can we get him dirt cheap? Definitely can get him dirt cheap. Uh, four years at two million dollars is fine for me. Uh, Ty Delandria, maybe we can get him for a depth player. Perfect. Two years, nine seventy five. Uh, Beach doesn't want to stay. That's fine. He can go. Hal doesn't want to stay. He was one of our original picks. I mean, I can try, but uh, I'm not going to try too much. I'll give him a one-year contract at 900000 If he says no, then we'll uh, kick tires with him. I'll keep Hughes on the team. Two years, that's fine. Got Geeky. Um, Klimchuk. I'll get, to get rid of this Roy guy. What's Klimchuk all about? 17. He plays in the WHL, I believe that is, so he'll play there for a couple more years, so that's fine. Left wingers. Okay, so we got Johansson, who doesn't want to stay, unfortunately. Uh, what do we got for one year with him? You know what? If I'm I'll, if I'm gonna keep him for one more year, I'll give him 2.150. See if he accepts that. Uh, Sefnikov, I want to keep for another year. Uh, 2.3 for that fourth line is fine with me. Uh, we'll have that uh, Dykewis guy. This guy wants to stay. Uh, you know what? We'll release him. And uh, Baldwin is gonna get a contract for sure. 75 overall. Um, Kim doesn't want to stay. That's fine. We can release him. I got this Fedorov guy, Gomez. Uh, We'll wait another year with him. I'll get rid of this guy. Uh, new, new. I guess we can just get rid of these guys. All right. Right wingers. We got Tarasenko. So we'll see what Tarasenko wants or we'll be chasing a UFA. So let's see. One year for Tarasenko would give us a... Ooh, okay. He wants to stay. He wants to stay. We can get him nice and cheap for one year. I'm... I'm 100% okay with giving him one year at, looks like we can probably get him down to 9.475 for one year. I'm good with that. So we'll get him for one year. Uh, Dawson Mercer, keeping him on the team. He's 23. If we get him for three years at uh, 2.35, let's try that. Force Baca. Uh, I could probably get him for cheap for one more year. I think in order we move on finally from for Baz You know what? Let's keep him for one more year at $2 million. Let's do that. And he does want to stay. Francis, he had a massive year for the AHL, so let's keep him. Keep him going. Uh, Hedekin, can you play in the AHL? Yeah, Russian definitely can play in the AHL. There you go. Uh, new. We got another uh, low and deep guys, Kreider. Yep, he can play in the AHL. There we go. Got some draft picks that are uh, AHL ready to go. Uh, Gain Gallagher, I'm going to give him one more year and uh, maybe boost up that overall just a little bit in the O. Uh, okay, so Slavin wants to stay, but we're not uh, keeping him. We're going to have Svedberg, Hickey, Sanderson, uh, Slavin gone. We're going to keep Howe, Chariot gone. Oh, Howe does not want to stay. Oof. Uh, Hobbs, uh, I'd like to keep her depth. There we go. Give him that contract. Alexandrov, Pouliot gone. Jacobs will stay. Masson, you know what? Let's just get rid of him. Uh, Sanford, he'll play in the AHL right away. There we go. Turkov doesn't want to stay. That's fine. Gone. Uh, got some other guys here, and there we go. So, how is the big one here who doesn't want uh, to stay? Let's see what he wants for money. Ooh, he wants to get paid. All right. So, five years at, you know what? Fire. See if we can do three years at. Uh, 5.35 or, you know, 5.4 for three years. Let's see if we can get him under that contract. And as for goalies, we're going to let Comrie walk, release, and look at that. Wellwood already up to an 84, so Wellwood and Witt will be our guys, and then we'll have 
uh, Gogolev, and uh, we'll get rid of this Bell guy. And who do we put as our backup? I think this high starter guy. Or maybe Robinson. Oh, he's American, though, so he'll be in the development system, and he's 18. So uh, Gogolev and this guy Chubarov will be in yeah the uh, AHL. So there we go. And let's submit a day and see what happens. All right, so we got the coach, I think. Uh, all right, Caleb Dowd. And that guy accepts. Okay. So Marcus Johansson rejected. Okay, so he rejected. We got Sanford, Aldwin. How? I, oh, guy went way too quick there. Let's just go through and see what happens. All right. So we got Tarasenko for sure, back for one year. Uh, Olsen rejected. Ooh. Um, need him back for one year. So let's get uh, one year out of him. What's that? 2.1. So we'll give him 2. Uh, maybe two years at uh, 2.3. Let's try that. Um, Johansson said no, and Ovsechikov said no. Let's see what Johansson. Can we give him? What's our cap space like? Yeah, we have lots of cap space. So we can give one year contract for 2.6 uh, 2 for Johansson and Sashnikov. Let's give him a one year. Uh, let's give them both 2.6 each. There we go. All right. Uh, everyone else signed except for Hal. Uh, Hal, you know what? Let's try two years at. 5.5 uh, 5 for 5.55. There we go. How about that? And let's see what happens. So we got Johansson back. We got did not get How. We got Sashnikov and we got Olsen. So How might be the only one left to resign. And oh, How. Oh, this guy. He will. Okay. So he didn't want to stay. So we can get rid of him. So let's get rid of him. So the big one now is for how. So we have $34 million to play with. And if we lose Yarncroc, we still have a lot of cash to, to play with for, for a guy for one year. So 4.6 for, is for one year. If we do two years, 4.9. So let's give him at least uh, 5.85 for two years. Let's try that. See if he accepts that. And he's on the team. All right, perfect. So... We got Svedberg, Hickey, Sanderson, Howe, Alexandrov, and uh, someone else in free agency. So we'll look for a UFA. Um, got Tiersenko, Mercer for Zbaka. That's three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So we have our 12 forwards. But again, uh, we'll look to see if there's someone that can replace Cali Yarncruck and then we can uh, see if we can move him to another team. Uh, as for goalies, we're good for goalies. Yep, one, two, three, four. Okay, so don't think we need to re-sign anybody else. Just do my due diligence and uh, check what we got. Yep, 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 yep. We are good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go right into free agency and see what is available to us and if we have a suitable replacement for Callie Yarncroc. If not, we have another year of him. And, oh, I guess I didn't sign the goalie coach. Uh, okay, I'll hire it off uh, off camera. That's okay. That's good. All right. Sign free agents. Here we go. What do we got available to us? Ooh, baby. It looks like a big free agency period. Yep, a lot of good UFAs. And especially the winger category. Look at this. Right off the bat, guys. <laughs> All guys making around the same money or cheaper as... Uh, um, Callie Yarncroc, my God. I mean, especially we got two snipers right here in Arvidsson and Pacioretty. Oh, God, man. Let's just see the who who really does fit on our first line. Is anybody here? Fourth line, none. Ooh, man. Evander Kane might be him. Might be the guy. Yeah, how much does he want? You know, four years. Ooh, that's a lot of money for four years. Uh, God. Uh, let's go to forwards here. Sort, sort by forwards. Looking at Tom Mar Tom Wilson for the first line or Brad Marshan for one year. No, he fits on the four. A lot of them just don't fit on our first line, especially in our scheme. Bjorkstrand? Nope. Fiala? Fourth line? No, that, not a lot of people fit in line one. Alex Ovechkin still playing. Oh, God. 
He doesn't fit on any line, but man, he, he's still going, this kid. Okay. Oh, we got line one. Here we go. Dominic Simon. Former Pittsburgh Penguin. A sniper. Only 82 overall, though, but I'd love to have someone better than Yarncroc, but uh, it might be uh, we keep Yarncroc for another year, guys, because uh, I don't feel cap in maybe. Is he uh no penalty kill line two? Uh, Adam Ernie. No, I mean, there's there's no one here that's that's screaming better than him. There's like lower end guys, but like I don't I don't think that's gonna solve the problem. No, see. I'd rather have a, a high overall guy come in and take his spot, like someone like an Ehlers or Kachuk, but uh, they just don't uh, they don't fit our scheme, which kind of sucks. Like I wish a guy like Nikolai Ehlers for sure, um, or even Matthew Kachuk would be a solid guy, even to replace like a guy like Logan Brown. But uh, no, there's none out there. Uh, as for our defensive uh, slot, we need a uh, offensive or two way. For that last D pairing spot. So we got an offensive guy right here. Sean Dersey. Uh, does not fit though. So let's go down the list. We got another offensive guy. Vatanen. Uh, defensive line one. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of offensive guys here. Killing or Shillington I think is pronounced. Uh, Grizzlick. Defensive pairing two. Um, Might just have to sort the top with the two ways. Might be a two way instead then. Uh, let's just go from the top down. See which one fits on. So Slavin, I'm not gonna resign him. Uh, I'm not paying him uh, six million dollars. No way. Uh, we got any guy fits on three for sure. We got for sure all pairings with Schmidt. I wouldn't mind a guy like Nate Schmidt. He's got really good stats. What's he asking for? Not bad. If I can get that to one year. I'd be pay willing to pay him like 5.8 for one year to see if he fits. You know, anyone defensive pairing three for sure. I don't think so. Okay. Two, a lot of, a lot of twos and ones are top four. And we got one for three here and Sean Walker. 79 overall, two way, not the greatest stats. Don't really feel comfortable getting him. No. No. All right, so let's go back up uh, and see. Who was it again? Was it Schmidt, I think it was? Nate Schmidt. Let's see what it looks like. If we offered him one year, he'd want 5.5 at least. No one wants him, so I think he'd accept a contract at one year, 5.85. Just to see how he goes in our lineup. And if, again, it's only a one year contract, so we're not committing to him long term. So let's see if we can offer him that. Uh, don't need to do any goalies, but let's just take a look and see what's in the free agency here. And uh, nothing really. No. And as for Fords, uh, let's just take a look at what were the RFAs this year. God, a lot of top guys. If I had the, the draft picks to give up and willing to give up, man, I could probably go for one of these guys, especially a guy like, ah, I can't believe Atu Radhi is an, an RFA here. That's crazy. Or Bill Antonio. That was the the guy in St. Louis. Can't believe they let this guy walk. Wow. That's insane. I wonder if he's uh Bill Antonio. I wonder if he's uh on the trading block. That's something to maybe consider here. Maybe. Um, let's go to Skaters matching the block and let's go to St. Louis, right below us. No, he's not. He is an RFA, though. That's uh, I can't believe they, they, they wouldn't resign him. That's nuts. That is crazy. Anyways, let's just sim a few days to get uh, Nate Schmidt on the team. And again, we didn't find anyone in free agency, guys, so we're going to keep Cali Arncroft for another year. Hopefully as a bounce back year or somewhat of a better year. And then uh, so we got Schmidt in the team, so that's great. Um, I don't think we need to get anyone else, though, because I counted 12. Because we'll have Pinelli, Sorelli... Uh, who's our third line center? Who is our third line center? Pinelli Sorelli. Not Brown, because he's a winger. Or does Olsen finally go up to line three? But he didn't fit chemistry-wise. 
And I don't think the Landry does either. Ooh. I don't think this guy can play center. No. Or maybe Force Baca goes center. I think it may be Force Baca. Yeah. I think it's Force Baca. And then uh, we'll have this Dicuist guy on third line. Yeah. With uh, Mercer. Yeah. Mercer, Force Baca, and that Dicuist guy. Yeah. That was it. All right. <laughs> Just making sure, guys, because I should probably fix the positions and all that. So, uh, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to fix everyone and put them in the proper uh, positions. And uh, I'll sim all the way to next season. And I'll be right back, guys, to see what our progression looks like. All right, guys, we're here. Uh, I went through the off season and I changed all the uh, everybody's positions to their uh, needed positions, but I want them to fit in the lineup here. I have it written down on paper in front of me, so it's time to transition that into the screen here. So I haven't looked at anything. I haven't looked at anyone's project projections or or sorry, not projections. Uh, um, progression and so let's just jump right to that and see that so we're still listed as hopeful i'd like to see that better because it, it didn't say hopeful it said contenders i think uh, last year so um, hopefully there's a, a better sign to this so let's just go into here and go to centerman's to start so sorelli in 85 Pinelli 84 force back 82 and Olsen 81 so that's perfect let's just take a look at the system delandria ganrich yes 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 that is fine um Left footers get Landskog 88, Yarncrock 85, Mercer 83, and Sashkov 82, which is fine. It's all great. Uh, Baldwin is an eight, uh, 76, so he didn't grow, but he will be playing. Uh, looks like he's playing one more year in the WHL, growing. This guy is uh, looking like a, a very good future sniper for us. So maybe even guy to replace Yarncrock. Um, right wings, Tarasenko 89. So we only went down one overall. That's not bad. Exact top six. So he lost his elite status, but we only got him for one more year. So hopefully that doesn't continue to go down more. Uh, Logan Brown, 86 overall. Now on that first line, boys. That is a big boost for him. Uh, Dyke Hewis, up to an 81 overall. So that's good for that uh, that uh, third line there. I, I'm happy to see that. Johansson, 81. That's fine. He'll be playing fourth line. And Ronning, you can go down. We don't need you up on the team. Uh, we will actually probably need to get need some depth forward. So definitely have to sign some people actually uh, for injuries. So we'll have to look at that. Uh, doesn't look like any more growth down here than normal. Defenseman Svedberg, Howe is an 86. Hickey's an 85. Sanderson's an 85. Schmidt, 82. And Alexandrov, 81. And Hobbs will be the extra. Can we keep him up? No, they need defensemen down there. It looks like we need to sign a couple of AHL guys as well. So put Hobbs down there. And he'll be up there with Jacob, Sanford, uh, Ray, and Brody. So there's that. Goalie. So, wow. Well, with an 86 overall, boys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Roll elite goalie. This guy is it. He's our big goalie for this coming season. Hopefully he has a big year. And I hope Desmond Witt, even though he's a 75, yeah, he, he shows he can be a, still a sturdy backup. So hopefully he does something for us there. Gogolev, 74. We got that Chubarov guy, the, the high starter, as a backup for the AHL. So that's good. Uh, AHL are left in well hands there with uh, goalies. So let's go into edit lines. So let's do our uh, uh, lineup here. So Yarncroc on line one with Pinelli and Logan Browns. So there we got the plus three still in our top six. Loving that. Uh, Olsen line two, or four, force back of there with Mercer and Dykewis. What do we got? All right, perfect. Still three, three, one, three. I'm still loving that. That's what I like to see. Force back and now at center. Mercer on the left and uh, Maurizio Dykewis on the right. The rookie, the 20 year old. Uh, uh, what was he a power forward? Power forward for us. Uh, hopefully a big year out of him. Other than that. Defense, Hickey and Svedberg, Sanderson, Hal, Alexandrov, and Schmidt. Let's just see. Does Schmidt do anything? No. Does Alexandrov do anything? No. We're still at the 3 1 0. So it looks like that's like our, our chemistry from now on. But hey, we, we, we ended up having a big season with the line chemistry this way. So you know what? I think we're fine the way this is uh, with uh, chemistry wise. Other than that, I, I'm loving our team right here on paper, boys. And again, uh, if Mercer ends up doing great, maybe I move him up to that spot up there. It still makes it a plus three, and then Mercer becomes our the sniper we need to, to replace Yonkrok, and then we just trade Yonkrok maybe for someone for the third line. Um, or even Snapchat can move up, but I want to keep them together because they make a plus three on line four. All right, and that's our AHL squad. They're fine. Uh, I'll do all the uh, the changes with that off camera, and I'll sign some, uh, some, some guys, but I don't think we need to do anything else. 
Um, no, don't need to sign anything else. We just need to sign some uh, some depth guys, which I'll, I'll I think I'll just do in free agency off camera because it's a little boring, and we're gonna wrap it up after that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Some depth people in here for us. Yeah, there's a lot, a couple of depth guys we can just pick up uh, for. Uh, depth. Now look at the guy. A guy like Andre K Kashe. Look at that. Now, uh, or David Kashe. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave me your comments down below. And uh, hopefully we have a, another big season in the next video with the Seattle Kraken. And hopefully get past that first round of the playoffs. My name is Kyle, guys. Thanks for watching the Armchair GM Sports Network, your source of North American sports coverage by sports fans for sports fans. I'll see you in the next one.